My name is Joe Price. I'm the director of the BYU Record Linking Lab, along with Mark Clement, Joseph Seed, and other students here at BYU. We've created a powerful new way to do indexing. Our goal was to create a way that even a six-year-old could help index historical records. The trick that we've discovered is that we can have artificial intelligence do a lot of the work in reading the handwritten text, and then we can tap into the power that humans have in pattern recognition to show them uh, images that we think are the same name and then ask them to uh, remove those that don't belong. We call this reverse indexing. Let me show you how it works. So the way to get to this tool is if you Google reverse indexing, uh, you can come here to the BYU Family History Technology Lab website and click on reverse indexing. And so what will happen here is you can type in uh, your name. I'm gonna use my name to start. And it's gonna show you examples of images from historical records that we think represent that particular surname. So your job then is just to decide which of these don't belong. Uh, this is a very powerful pattern recognition test uh, task. And the thing about it is that even a six-year-old could learn to do this thing. Uh, last year, right before Roots Tech, I sat down with my five-year-old daughter and I taught her how to read the word price. She didn't know how to read at the time, but it was easier to teach her what a P looks like, an R, an I, a C, and an E. And so if we look at the screen right now, we can see that first of all, the machine's doing a really good job at detecting the word price. And then we can click those that we don't think belong. So those are two that right away caught my attention that might not be right. And then that one, I'm not quite sure about either. And maybe not that one, but notice that the others are pretty clearly price. And so then I just hit submit. And then it gives me another batch of the same name. So this is a case in which uh, my daughter could actually become really good at reading the word price and can quickly start to um, discover those that don't belong. So in this batch, it looks like all of them belong. And so then I would hit submit. So notice that very quickly, I can index a lot of images. And for the ones that you say don't belong, it allows the machine to go back and figure out what it did wrong and try to come up with the right answer. You can always click on your stats up here at the top and see how many you've done. Uh, and then for those that um, would like to use this tool for their own research projects, you can even, uh, we can create uh, groups. And so this is cause of death. And so it'll pull up a cause of death like influenza. And so this allows us to expand the types of things that we use this indexing tool for. And right now we're using this tool to help us identify people who died of influenza and pneumonia in the 1918 pandemic. And so not only can the index be, indexing be used to help with family history projects, it can be a powerful tool for helping advance science and learning things. Um, that might help us deal with the pandemic and other things. So we'd love for you to try this out. Uh, it's very simple to use. You don't need to log in. You just need to type in uh, what you, where you want to start. Uh, and we'd love, if, if this is a great experience for you, we'd love to get your feedback and even send us a screenshot of your stats and we can post that on our page. We'd love to see you have a great experience with this. Thanks.